Today I'm going to be talking about one of my favorite concepts by far in high frequency trading. And it's not because it's the most advanced or the most complicated concept out there, but it's because this concept and this strategy that I'm going to be talking about in this video is directly applicable to real world trading. Meaning theoretically, you could watch this video, understand the strategy that I'm talking about and find a way to actually make it profitable without too many hurdles, right? Obviously you still have to put some work into it, but it is possible to make this profitable as there are just so many different ways to utilize it. Arbitrage, I think is a really great place to start with high frequency trading, right? It's a good way to understand what high frequency traders are looking for. However, there's a lot of competition in it. There's only one way to do it. And, you know, relatively speaking, if you're not a hedge fund or some huge institution, you're not going to be able to take advantage of that. However, with the strategy that I'm talking about today, not only can you take advantage of it, but I also think that it opens you and exposes you to the thinking, the way of thinking that a lot of high frequency traders use, which for me was really cool because then it got me thinking about all these other high frequency trading strategies that you could theoretically do or different ways that you can even incorporate this into your own personal trading in order to get, for example, better entries or better exits. But before I get into the video, make sure to like and subscribe if you'd like to see more content like this. Also, make sure to join my Discord group down in the description down below if you would like to join our amazing community of like-minded traders. We trade stocks, cryptocurrency, and Forex every single day, so make sure to join that as well. However, let's get right into the video. And the first thing I want to mention is where I initially heard about or learned about this concept. And it was from a book called Flash Boys. If you're trying to get into automated or high-frequency trading, I highly recommend you read this book called Flash Boys. I'll try to put a picture of it right here. It's a really amazing book about different stories of successful high frequency traders and automated traders. So that's where I initially heard about this concept and I highly recommend you check that out. However, now let me explain to you what front running, which is the name of this concept. It's the name of the concept. However, there is a disclaimer, which I will explain in just one second. However, first let me explain to you what the concept actually is. So front running is the strategy of predicting when there will be a certain demand for a specific asset and then buying that asset before the order hits the market, before that demand hits the market so that you're able to sell it to the person with demand for that asset at a higher price. So let me give you an example through the little disclaimer that I was talking about. Now, the reason why I'm saying that front running has a little disclaimer next to it is because front running is the name that is technically for the illegal version of this strategy. And so how people would theoretically do this illegally, and this is why many people say there's a hidden fee in the market, is because if you are a broker, for example, let's say I'm a broker, so people send me their orders to buy stocks, for example, and I have a client who wants to buy a thousand shares of Apple. And I'm like, wow, that's a lot of shares that he wants to buy. I'm just going to buy those shares of Apple myself. So I'm going to buy a thousand shares of Apple at $100. And then that's going to move the market price up to let's say $102. And then I'll sell it to my client at $102. So there I would theoretically be making a 2% profit at almost zero risk because I know that my client wants to buy it, I can buy it at the current price and sell it to them for the higher price that will move up to once I buy it for myself. So that's an example of how front running is utilized in an illegal sense. And that's completely illegal because you're using information that is not publicly available to the rest of the market. Since you're a broker and you're able to see the orders before everyone else has access to those same orders. So how can you do this legally, right? It sounds like you know, if you're a broker, then you have some secret key to success and that's why it's illegal. However, there are also ways of predicting demand on certain assets and doing the same thing in a legal way. So the way that you can do this is by understanding different strategies that traders use to execute their orders on the market. Because the most valuable clients in high frequency trading a lot of the time are clients that are executing very large orders. 
So let's say that I'm someone, let's say I'm a hedge fund and I want to purchase $10 million worth of Tesla stock. Now, there are a few different ways that I can decide to do this. Let's say that I decide to split up my $10 million into $100,000 orders and then execute those $100,000 orders every 10 minutes. So that makes it so that my exposure, the market impact that my $10 million order has is much smaller as it's split up into those $100,000 orders. But this is where a high frequency trader can come in. A high frequency trader can come in and say, okay, I see that every 10 minutes, there's a $100,000 buy order on Tesla. So I'm going to assume that this pattern is going to repeat. And then what they can do is right before that next 10 minute mark where they're going to buy another $100,000 worth of shares, the high frequency trader can quickly buy it at the market price, move it up a little bit higher, and then sell it to that $100,000 order for a slightly higher price. And once again, that's a legal way of doing it because it's information available to the public yet you are still theoretically getting the same concept of virtually zero risk profit. So now I want to talk about an example of someone who actually did this in real life, as I think that's the most important one. I can sit here and talk about theoreticals all day, but actually seeing someone put it into practice, I think is really, really cool. So there was a person, I cannot remember exactly where I saw this, but there was an article about a person who actually utilized this themselves. And it was a retail trader, a, perf a perfectly normal person, no one that had any special contacts, but they knew someone, they had a friend that worked at a hedge fund. And through this friend, he was able to learn about when the hedge fund, he, he was sort of watching this hedge fund that he, his friend worked at, and he was able to learn over time that this hedge fund specifically put out their orders into the market at the same time every single week. And through realizing this due to public information on the markets, because he knew that his friend worked at the hedge fund and he saw the orders going out at the same time every single time, through this public information, he was then able to decide that he would monitor the market at the time where he knew this hedge fund would start making their positions for the week, for example, and then he would buy whatever he started to see increased demand for on the stock market. So let's say that I'm monitoring all the stocks in the stock market at 7 p.m. on Wednesday. And then I notice that on 7 p.m. every single Wednesday, there is a $10 million order on one stock that is split up into $100,000 orders. Then once I see that first $100,000 order go out, I know exactly which asset or which stock that fund is trying to buy. And I can then utilize the high frequency trading strategy of front running in order to sell it to them at a higher price and profit on the difference. So that's just one way of how you can do this. But obviously, if you know of any institution, if you learn of some information or some pattern that you notice in the market where there's always increased demand on certain assets or a specific asset at a specific time, then you can certainly take advantage of this strategy for yourself. And that's why I'm saying there are infinite number of ways of doing this because there are so many different hedge funds, so many different institutional traders that theoretically no one's gonna figure out when every single one of them executes their orders, but there's always one that you can figure out for yourself. If you learn about Morgan Stanley's buying patterns on the stock market, and you utilize high frequency trading, then that can be wildly profitable, right? So there's so many different ways of doing this. And I hope through learning this concept and seeing different examples of it, that you are now motivated to go out and hopefully explore the world of high frequency trading farther down the line. Anyways, thank you all so much for watching and see you in the next one.